listening to another episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. And you're all lucky because it is 2019, Keith! We made it. We made it! We're, uh, we're excited. It's, uh, it's a brand new year. I don't know if we're excited. You're not excited? I had to come back to work after being gone for 10 days. I will tell you what, it has been a mixed bag of emotions today. When that alarm went off at 5.30 <laughs> this morning, it was like, what is that gosh awful noise going on? I have had to retrain my brain how to work. Like how to look at a computer and actually do this job. I've had to relearn all over today. Oh, mine was really easy. The phone just started ringing instantly and has been nonstop. But nonstop. Everybody, okay. everybody needs a little piece of Keith. And Ricky. Good and thing Ricky. for Ricky. And we got Micah too, so... Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's still been busy, but we're uh, we're trying. Well, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people were out this last week. A lot of oh, uh, I'm sure going. everybody and their dog was out. <laughs> Literally, everybody over the and last their dog. Uh, ten days. So. Yeah, um, did you get it? Out? Did you get out? Yes, I did. I got did. to. Uh, I got to go out on an airboat out on the Great Salt Lake on Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Yes, I got to go out with uh, one of my fun. girls' uh, friends, Mitch. And his father took me out on the Great Salt Lake. We were only out there for about an hour and a half, but we shot some good birds. Shot some. And I've never, uh, I've never laid down in a coffin and uh, right, those kind of sit up those. and and shoot really fast. You and could have, have the ab. I don't have the abs for that. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like belly up to the thing, push up with my elbows <laughs> and sight in and shoot. Sure. But it was uh, I had a good shoot. There, the teal were right in our face. We're talking. 15, 20 yard shots. I mean, they were just right there. And awesome. the airboat was amazing. And the airboat fun. was amazing. It rained on the way back. It was cold, yeah. but it was good. And did some other, other local hunting and um, sure. had some good had some good luck. Got good. a lot of uh, a lot of nice uh, green heads over the last uh, about week and a half. So okay, nice. It's a little bit tough now because uh, we're freezing. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Cold. Cold. It is definitely cold. We've definitely had that cold weather. I'll tell you what, that's uh, that's really good. Um, for all of you out there, I do have Keith's phone right here and uh, Keith's license here at the back of it. So and if you're, if looking you're really zooming hard, in, you can see. You might be able to see how old I am. I don't know. Um, but I got this. So go ahead and answer your questions. I'm sure I mean, people have been on the phone. This is an easy way to get your attention right now. Right you don't here, even have to right wait now. for the no. phone. You can ask and Keith. If you, if you are questions. calling on, calling in, Please be patient. We've been gone for eight working days, nine working days, and you guys have been out having a great time, and we're trying to catch up, and yeah. Micah and, and Ricky and myself, we're going as fast as we can, so please be patient. We will call you back. Some of you might not get it until tomorrow, but we are working hard are working to stay hard. up. Except for right now. Except we're for here. right now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm actually, Ricky's still over there. I'm on a break, and Ricky's on the phone. You're on your lunch break. I'm on a lunch break. That's how good you are. You're on your lunch break helping out <laughs> yes. everybody. That's really excellent. But how was your Christmas besides was, that? Besides the shoot? It was nice. It was fun. It was yeah. a nice Christmas. All my girls and their significant others were at the home. Uh -huh. And uh, Camp Mitch. Mitch and <laughs> some others. But uh, the Camp Chef Smoker Baby... That prime rib oh, was man. amazing. <sighs> nice, medium, rare. Oh, I'm hungry. I, I need really, to I really appreciate the invite. It, it was, uh, yeah. There wasn't any room at the table, man. <laughs> That's cruel. That's cruel it, for but, you to talk about that like this. But, you this. know, you, I got to give a shout out to my guys at Camp <laughs> Chef because as cold as it was, that baby that kept fire up right there. And, Speaking of, how much did you love our Camp Chef? Two weeks ago. Two Actually, weeks I guess ago? it was three weeks ago now almost. Yeah. When we were out on the boat, that thing was amazing. Was Need, that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? I think we need to tweak just a couple yeah. little things, but other than that, oh, man. they were great in the boat. I mean, that how was, are those elk tacos? That was so awesome. That was nice of you to give up a little bit of your elk is what it really oh, was. But That's not a problem. And that was the coolest thing I have heard nonstop. We had a lot of feedback on that. That was really awesome. And, and it will be available. I know they're going to do a little tweaking and twisting. Yeah, we got a little bit of work to do on that, but... Well, because, I mean... that It's that track system. That's coming really soon. The track system, The actual yes. conversion kit to put the grill on it with the with the, that whole thing will be a little bit later, yeah, I think. But may, we are working as fast as we can to get yeah, that going. That was just Bill and I Friday afternoon before we took it out to... Uh, to make the brackets work on the boat, so it's, I won't. I won't. It needed a little bit refined R and D, yes. but we'll we'll get that taken it, care. But what we had, I mean, it was great. so awesome. 
Those that were was, great tacos and beans on the marsh. Oh, everybody, everybody said that. Even Dave was just like, this is... <laughs> This is really great. And he was all worried about his kids seeing it, and he did. They went home and watched it immediately. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you remember the uh, the, the reaction we, we got from uh, one of our co-workers when he's like, I want that on my phone. I uh, know. <laughs> I had to hide it in my office. They were going to walk out with it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So awesome. It was, it was good. good. How about your holiday? I also had a really excellent holiday. A lot of family, a lot of food, and a lot of drinks. And a lot, of, a lot of beverage. <laughs> and a lot of, you forgot where your razor was? I or? really did. I lost my razor. You must be a lot younger than I am because you don't have any gray hair. Not, no. <laughs> Not, no. No, I just lost all my hair. <laughs> no, there is a little bit in there, but it's, it's still so patchy. You can't really <laughs> tell. So that's the nice thing about it. But yeah, no, that was good. I actually had a really amazing, uh, I had something happen to me Christmas morning. You woke up? I did wake up, which is always amazing when that happened. No, no, it's something really awesome that I got to be a part of Christmas morning, and I want to tell all of you about it. I'm going to, right now, announce the winner. Oh, that's right, the winner. The winner of the 25th anniversary giveaway. The big boat and motor package that we've been giving away forever. I'm going to tell you right now who won. So, as you know, I sent out an email early Christmas morning. There were a lot of... Sorry you didn't win emails that went out. But there was one really special email that went out Christmas morning. Um, and then, and then I, I spoke to them on oh, the phone yeah, that morning. So the winner, do you want to tr somebody drum roll for me? This is a big deal. The winner <laughs> of the Mud Buddy Motors 25th anniversary boat giveaway is Ryan Blount. He was our big winner. He's from Wisconsin. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations, Ryan. Ryan. I have spoken to him a couple of times now. Everybody give a big shout out. Um, we've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. Um, a post will go out. Um, I'll, I'll give you a little more information. I've even got some pictures that I'm going to share. Oh, cool. Because it's so awesome. So Ryan Blatt is from Wisconsin. He's got uh, his wife and he's got two little boys. They are so awesome. Um, they were so excited, he said. Um, so I spoke to him Christmas morning, and it, my family was actually all gathered around because they were so excited. And I talked to him for a little bit, and he was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, yes, this is actually happening. And they were so excited. He said his kids turned cartwheels all day long. Oh, I'm sure. I would and, be too. Oh, my gosh. So they are so excited. Couldn't happen to better people. Good. Um, so we're really excited. So, Ryan, you're my new best friend. I'll be out to uh, Wisconsin. You know, ride around in your boat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll a little fishing and duck hunting. But, yes, absolutely. But it was actually really special. It was actually the highlight of my Christmas was well, being cool. able to talk to him and, and give that away. And give that away. Kind of a nice, that Christmas. It a was a nice gift, huh? Yes. Best Christmas. I'm sure the rest of your family. It was like, where's ours? <laughs> yeah, they were like, I mean, we don't get anything for Christmas. All right, I gave it all away. Um, so that was fun. That was, that was, a, cool. that was well, really awesome. Congratulations to Ryan and his yes, family. Yes, Ryan. Ryan. And when, the, when the water thaws out, I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, in June in Wisconsin. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it'll be a little bit. But uh, so big, big congratulations to all of them. I also want to say thank you to everybody. We spent a lot of time giving stuff away, and we had so much fun with the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. Hugely successful. We had we got so many pictures and videos and and comments and love and and so much. So that was really great. So thank you everybody who participated in that. I had a huge blast doing that. Well, good. I'm glad you did. Yes, that I was just, so fun. I just saw the little post <laughs> every day when I every was off thinking. Jeffrey's working. Jeffrey's yes, working. no, it was so worth it because all I'm doing is just and giving I, stuff away. It's awesome. And people are winning stuff. I'm like, yes, oh, cool. all the time. So that was really fun. Um, we also had a lot of fun with our uh, uh, $250 uh, gift certificate with the new motors. We had some new motors bought. So that was really fun. So all in all, really great Christmas. It was. Yeah. All the way around. The weather was nice. The weather was nice. The weather we was had a white nice. Christmas. A white Christmas, yes. We got a little snow on Christmas here in Utah. Yes. I'm sure the ski resorts loved it. Oh my gosh, they really did, I'm sure. I know um, Dave, who you, who was with us last week, he he got up like almost every day. They, I, like honestly, they he was out there like I think eight days out of that break. Uh, out of that break he was up. That's yeah, he was on a ski. He said only went hunting once. But he only said he did once. He said he did well. He so. said he did pretty well. He actually took the salty. He did. He did. He had he had our boat. Dave. Stay away from <laughs> no, it was good. He, he, it was it was really good. Somebody needed to use it, and you yes. were out of town, and I was out of I town. was busy, and 
So that was all good. So now I'm going to do, let's do some shout outs. Shout outs? But uh, you know what I want to do besides questions, we've got a lot to give away today, but besides just questions, I want to hear, I want to hear New Year's resolutions. That's what I want to hear your best resolutions for prizes today. That's what I want. We're going to give away some good prizes to those of you who have really, um, you know, like epic, really ambitious. I have a really ambitious one. No, you don't. I do. I'm what going to hunt it? more this upcoming season <laughs> than the one that's just flashing by. That, I, did, I did quite a bit more hunting this year, uh, and I'm actually looking forward to doing more. I have I a new son-in-law. But, but that's... Now that's baby ambitious. And and he likes to duck hunt, so him and I are going to be doing good. a lot more duck hunting. Maybe another one with Mitch? Maybe with Mitch. <laughs> That's up to you. Were, uh, I did see a post from your wife. She was oh. like, "You'd be nice to Mitch." I am. I, you know what? What I was. The kids had all been at the house. All five of my girls and their significant others and, uh-huh. and Mitch and Mitch. and they had all gone Christmas about noon. Everybody was back to their their homes and that. And I was just like, "I'm taking a nap." So I just <laughs> just laid down. And my phone starts vibrating. I'm like what? You're like, and it's like, kill somebody. It's my girl Morgan. She's uh-huh. like. Dad, do you want to go shoot ducks on the Great Salt Lake airboat? I could not get out of the bed fast enough and scramble my gear to uh, go shoot. And it's something I, I had yeah, never you done. So done. Yeah, absolutely. It was. What do I need to take? What do I, what do I leave? What do I need? What do I leave home? Right. I just remembered. She her last little note was, "You're on an airboat, extremely fast, dress extremely warm." Yeah, I'm glad she. I'm glad she put that on there because I would have froze to death. So that's awesome. Yes, it was uh, very cool. Okay, so some shout outs here. We got Frank Williams on. He says, Happy New Year's. Happy New, happy New Year's Year to you, Frank. We got Joshua, uh, Joshua Petty. Hope you guys had a great Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year's and Christmas to you, Joshua. We got Tyler Nichols. Hey, guys, first time watcher. Hey, Tyler, you are in for a treat today <laughs> looking at this guy all day. That's awesome. Don't let the great fool you. I'm a lot younger than I look. <laughs> we got Monica Harris on. Is new. Hey, Monica. Hey, Monica. You know, Good to have you here. It's always great to have the ladies with us. Absolutely. Speaking of ladies, we got Brandon Webb. Oh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, Brandon. Brandon's a, a good, a good guy. He knows. I'm Brandon's kidding. one of like our uh, cult following. Yeah. He's obsessed with me. It's fine. <laughs> Just kidding, Brandon. You're the best. Appreciate it. Brandon's on. Um, How about Stan? I, I'm, I haven't gone through. Yeah. Hold on, I got a lot. I got a lot to get through here. But uh, Frank says, um, "Hope you all did better hunting during the Christmas than I did. I, did. I was hot down here in South Louisiana. You get some warm weather down there. Warm huh? weather. It was cold. Yeah. The birds were flying, and so was the steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we got Bubba Ramsey on. Are those waiters sitting?" Front and center. Are you talking about these down here? It's, if you are, those are. Those are my waiters. Those that's my waiter waiters. box. Yeah, that's Jeff. They're actually really great. My little. Uh, what are they? The, my rustic ridge. Your rustic ridge. I, I like them. They're a nice little times. Music. They're great. a great little waiter. I like my, them. My new ones. I got. I finally got the right ones, the right size. You did. Dude, those things were amazing. But those of you watching, no, we're not giving no, those away. No, the waiters are not. That's an old box. I've just stashed that box <laughs> under that. Sorry, I didn't Jeff's think about box. that set dressing. Yeah, it's like, I'm like, what waiters are you talking about? Uh, we got Taylor Lightsey on. Hey, Happy Taylor. New Year, Taylor. Richard Rillo. Happy New Year. Nancy. Uh, Hello, Nancy. What's for dinner? Oh, <laughs> send out a little She's hint. Like, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> For you, absolutely no, no. nothing. Tyler Nichols, I'm trying to convert an older HD to a tiller steer. It has an old style trim. Will the new style tiller handle work and all of the uh, new style Mercury switches? No, he's gonna have to. You're gonna have to do some rewiring. You can buy all that stuff and make it work, but it's not gonna be it's really. It's gonna be cheap. a little, little it's tougher be a little conversion there. Easy. Yeah. And he can he can hook up with Travis over at Backwater Performance, and Travis can kind of help walk him through that, and I will be helping to assist out where I can. But to make all that stuff work, it'll take a little bit more. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's really awesome, and Travis always a big help. Definitely hook up. That's a really that's a really great question. In fact, Tyler, for that. Um, yeah, I got a, a BPS. Uh, talk to Travis over at BPS. This hat for you is for you, Tyler Nichols. Um, there is a link at the top of this post. Click that, fill out the information. We'll get that sent off to you. That's their that's their new camo hat, the BPS. That's a nice hat. Yeah, that's a nice I hat. I have one home. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, hide the box. 
<laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I, um, I do want to big a sh big shout out to all of our sponsors today: Echo Calls, Lucky Duck, uh, Tangle Free, XL Boats, Backwater Performance Systems, and Camo Systems. Camo systems. Our new ones. Yeah, yes. they're new. Yeah, we love those Camo Systems guys. They're they're really great. Um, Eric Terezas is on. Eric, I said it right the first time, but I'm not sure if that's right. But Eric, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Frank Williams, that stove will be an awesome addition to the boat. Yes. I, I think it's going to be I cannot great. wait for that. You know, and the, those addition. Camp Chef, everybody at Camp Chef is just so amazing to work with. Every time we ask them questions or need help or have an idea there, they jump on it. They're so nice to us. Yeah, they're very, very, very friendly staff. And yes. uh, our friend Ryan Neely over there is always willing and able to help us when, oh, yeah. we, when we have a request or something like that. No, we couldn't ask for better friends nope. over there. Nope. Um, Casey Brady, I want to buy one of those Camp Chef setups for my XL. If you need any product testing, let me know. That'll be fun. <laughs> bow fishing in the spring. Absolutely, yes. it will. I cannot wait to go surf and fishing. turf. Surf and turf on your boat. Yeah, baby. Surf and turf on your there boat. There you go. No, I like. I've been one time bow bow fishing, and it was an absolute blast. And now ice I, I, I ice fishing's coming fun. up really soon. I know. Yeah, the, I'm actually thinking maybe next week. Next maybe week. We'll oh. see. We'll see how it goes. We're just waiting for. It might be to make sure we get yeah. the ice fully frozen. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that cold weather. That cold, cold weather yet. Um. So your good friend Sid's on. Sid and Fastway. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I know <laughs> I gave Sid a lot of trash you the last did. time we were in the you boat. You really did. And Sid's wife, Lori, she hooked me up with nice. that banana bread. It showed up on Saturday before Christmas. That's what he just asked about. And it was amazing. <laughs> it came from Florida. Express mail. Express mail, Holy, Florida banana bread. It was bread. gone. It was gone. Again, thanks for the share. Thanks yeah. for the invite. You know, that. Sid. The guys, the guys oh, who were able to uh, partake of it before I did told me how good it was. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. It was that good. It That's was. awesome. It did, like Dave said, you didn't have to put butter on it. <laughs> but I did because I love butter. <laughs> but it was uh, amazing. So thanks, Sid. That's awesome. And oh, Lori. Nick, your wife's got your back, too. She posted, she said the bread was amazing. Yes. That's see. awesome. And she makes really good banana bread, too. She really does. My wife, if you can tell, uh, <laughs> she's a good cook. <laughs> I don't miss very many meals in my house. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, Romeo Flores is on. Frank Willie, uh, uh, congratulations to the winner of the boat from Frank. Um, everybody, give a big shout out to Ryan because he's really excited about that. Everybody go knock on his door or something <laughs> if you're nearby and demand a ride. Um, let's see. The feed has turned out great. Oh, Ryan is on! Oh, he's here, everybody. Hey, Ryan's Ryan. on. I just, saw, I just saw his. Oh, my gosh. He's the man. I'm so, I cannot be more excited for Ryan. Um, uh, let's see, Baba is on, let's see, Sid, Monica, everybody, everybody's giving their congrats, which is awesome. Okay, <laughs> uh -oh. Romeo Flores has a, a resolution. A resolution, what is it, baby? Let us hear it. <laughs> Not to spend so much money on duck season. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? <sighs> that's gonna, that's gonna be a tough one. It, it is, because tough there's one. always something new coming out. I know. Um, from some of our sponsors and some other people that I've bought some of their Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. I can help with this. Romeo, I can help with this. I've got for you from Tangle Free. This is the duck strap. For you, Romeo, that one's yours. Uh, go to the top of the uh, comments, hit that link, fill out that info, and we'll get that sent off to you. I, I had Good one of with those, that. and it had 14 green heads on it this last weekend, and what? it held all of them. Nice. Just wonder. Actually, 13 green heads. And we had a widgeon. 13 was, green heads and a widgeon. Yes, it was, a, and it held all of that with no problem. Okay. It was amazing. Now, do you call them widgeons, like rhymes with pigeon. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I watch a lot of videos and they call them weegeons. Weegeons? As rhymes with region. What do you know out there, people? I want to hear. What are your, what are your thoughts? Weegeon or widgeon? I want to hear. I, I heard widgeon. I've, I've been to I've always widgen. heard widgeon in this area. And yes. It's and probably maybe it's a, an area, a geographic thing, just, but yes. I want to hear what everybody... What everybody says on that one. Um, Bubba Ramsey, to be a better dad and get my son in the blind with me. That's a good one. There you go. I That's tried that really working good. with my daughter, Morgan. We got out three times on the youth hunt, but... You, have, you got out three times on the youth hunt. Uh, yeah, three years she went out with three me years on the youth hunt, hunt, and she just... Yeah. <sighs> I'm still you working know, on her. You know. Need a little help, Mitch. 
Um, Richard, we'd love to see more ducks in southern Utah. It's been a bad year. Boy, I tell you what. It well, has southern been Utah, you need, bro, you need to come up here. Uh, Jeff will take you to all of his hot spots. Monica Harris, take more trips. That's actually mine. That's a take more trips. Take more trips. I want to see. I want to see more of the country. That's that's, that's mine. So Monica, you stole mine. But Monica, I got. Uh, Are you going? I got a Sitka hat and I got a Camo System shirt. Oh, right here for you. I got a T-shirt. I got a T-shirt and a hat for Monica. And where, right. can, where can she fill out the paperwork? Oh, that is um, the, at the. Uh, at the top. At the top. At the top. Go to the top of the list. <laughs> like, so is, is, a, is that link, that can any of our previous winners, if they haven't filled out anything, yes. can they go to that link? You absolutely can. Click on it. Now, everybody up until now, though, has should have heard from and is have, have some correspondence with Ambry right now. So if you are still waiting on something or have some questions with that, you actually need to contact Ambry. That's A-M-B-R-E at mudbuddy.com. Yes. Talk, talk to Ambry. She yes. will. Uh, she will. She will hook you up. She'll, I know. I took a couple will. of those. Uh, yes. Facebook posts. Uh, yeah. Over the over the holidays. That was the only work I did <laughs> on the holidays. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, Zach Bohannon continue to build a foundation to my tree business. Happy New Year, Zach. That sounds awesome. I would love love to hear more about that. That's really great. But uh, but Happy New Year to you as well. Jeff Fuchs is on. Hey Jeff. Hey Jeff. Um, Will Nelson, Happy New Year. How do we know who has won? Which thing? What? That's the question. There's been lots of winners. Um, in this particular thing, I've, if I've shouted your name, then you will know the other stuff. We will get in touch with you eventually. Um, Is our buddy Travis on today? Have you, have, you haven't mentioned Travis. I have not today. seen Travis. Travis, I'm actually, buddy. Are you, are you, are you I'm not sure. Down? I wonder if he's out of town or... I don't think so. Out of town. Out of town. He's, I don't know. Busy. I don't know. He might be working hard. Maybe. But they were at work all last week. Those guys at Backwater Performance, they, uh, yeah. they dug in while we were playing <laughs> and partying. They were working. Yes. Um, Monica, who we just gave that hat, and, uh, that hat and shirt to, my son's on a fishing team, and we travel and watch his weigh-ins. That sounds fun. Yeah. That sounds really fun. That'd be a good time. Hope you all had a wonderful holiday. That's from Alicia from downstairs. We miss you too, Alicia. Yes, Alicia. Get well soon. Bryce Evans is on. Hey, Bryce. Bryce, uh, 74 degrees here for tuck season in southern Georgia. Send us some colder weather and less rain. You can have all the cold weather you want. Yes. Sending it's, it your way because yes, it's ridiculous. It was, I, cold got this a, I got a text yesterday from a friend of mine who lives way up north, like Montana. Like, and it was like almost 20 below. I'm like... <laughs> Thank you for 20 degrees. I know. I it's said that time like, when it's, whoa. yeah, walking the yeah, dog they 10, way up 10 in, uh, up in Montana. It was like 20 below. I'm like, I wouldn't even walk outside of the house. Yeah. I don't even care if oh, I had yeah. a pond full of mallards. I am <laughs> not going run. outside. <laughs> Jeff Fuchs says hunting was awesome down south over the holidays. You lucky son of a gun. Kim Goer, try Florida 81 today. Yes, I talked in to Florida. I talked to Sid. I think it was either Saturday or Sunday. Just gave him a shout out and I showed him a little bit of my trophy green head stuff. And he sends me a picture in a tank top flip flop. <laughs> yeah. And he's holding up fish and he's like, dude, it's 85 degrees here. I'm like, I would, how, what I would do to have a little bit of more warmth than what we had here. Maybe yeah. not that warm, but you know. No, Brent, Brent Helm asks, are y'all holding all the ducks? And we're not holding no, any. There are none here, my friend. Yeah. It's been a, been a rough year. It's sporadic. That's the nature. It has been. So all the one, the most ones you've got, you, I mean, the Great Salt Lake, you had a little bit yes, of luck. had a little bit of luck but there. you were up in uh, uh, Idaho, uh, uh, somewhere in that giant yeah. state. I was way over to the west side. That's all I'm going to say. That's all you're going to say. But you had some luck there. You had a little bit of luck there. Okay. Just a little bit. Not enough. Do you see, you feel it's kind of tense up when I said that? I know. I know. I, I wasn't even planning it. No, then. Jeff, people don't like to give up their hunting spots. <laughs> so, but no, it was, uh, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Oh yes. Why don't you say? Why are oh, you saying hey, that to me? You say it. You're the host. I'm just sitting there. I just <laughs> keep, man. I, okay. Here's an actual question for you from from Jeff Fuchs. I see the anniversary motor I ordered has a Raptor prop. Looks like the big blade is the best universal prop. Would the big blade be the best choice for the forty? What kind of boat are you pushing? 
Yeah, that's really the, the, the boat and right the there. load. The boat. Um, speed. If you're looking, if you're not running a huge a huge load, you're going to get some great speed on that raptor, raptor prop. But if you're pushing a heavy boat and a heavy load, yeah, you might want to look at that. Shoot me an email. You, it's Keith at mudbuddy.com. I almost gave out my, you know, I've done that before. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. Yes. Um, but yeah, shoot me an email. Let me know what kind of loads and, and people you're hauling, and we can help you out with that on that 40. But that 40 is an amazing motor, you know. I'm, I'm a two-blade guy. The three-blade works well, mm -hmm. so. Sid, also, Sid is also saying, he's recommending that three-blade. Sid's yeah. a fan of the three-blade, which I, I also, it's a great, it's a great prop. I think you'll like it for that motor. I think that motor spins it fast enough. I think you'll be great unless you've. You know, got a couple of linebackers and <laughs> small chubby dogs with you. Small chubby dogs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Oh, here's a good one. I got to read this, make sure there's no... You got to screen it before you read it? Yes, always, because you never know. <laughs> it's some curse words. <laughs> Inappropriate bay. I don't know. This is Nicholas Sellers. I know on your calling episode with Travis, he was saying that the double read calls are easier for beginners. What are the advantages of the more expensive acrylic calls versus the wood and poly calls? Call Travis. <laughs> yes, this is where we really need Travis. I don't think he's on. Uh, though Glade is watching. Glade. Glade, Glade you Glade could also help out. help out with that question. But I'm going to make sure Travis or some professional sees this because I could. Or Keith would absolutely just steer you wrong. Yes, exactly. Or you know what? You can call our good friends at Echo Calls. Yes. Um, and speaking of, uh, there was a brand new video just yes. dropped just a few days ago um, with Rick Dunn, who is the who owner. Who is Echo Calls. Who is Echo Calls. He knows anything and everything about it. He had a little video. He and um, Freddie right. King uh, were on, kind of having a little conversation about the corks, the replaceable corks in the acrylic duck calls and how... Frequently, they need to be replaced. Really great little video. Some cool information from the master of masters. A right lot, there. a lot of good information. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm a serious, serious duck hunter like a lot of people, but how many people know that you need to replace the cork in your yeah, call? Absolutely. Every so often, and you can tell when it goes flat. And guys, if your call isn't blowing and it's sticking and you're having a hard time, it's probably a read problem. So reach out. Yeah. To our Mud Buddy page, check out that video with Rick Dunn, yeah. world champion duck caller, and Freddie, and they'll explain to you what you need to do and why you need to do it. Absolutely. And why your reeds are sticking and things mm, just yeah. aren't sharp and crisp like they should be. Yeah, no greater, no greater so, resource. Than but yeah, and Travis will be able to help you because Travis, is, he's a champion too. He is. He would know. He would know. Yes. And Glade's an amazing caller too. I gotta, I gotta do a little shoot with Glade, and he, you know what? He's got a little dog named Dusky, and she's a female. She's partially blind in one eye. What she lost in vision, her smell and her hearing, she is an. He calls her his little pocket lab because she's, uh -huh. she's, she's kind of probably about lab. sixty pounds. Oh. She's amazing, fast. She listens. She follows direction. It was great, and I, you know what? And I gotta give props to Clay. Not only did he take me hunting, and we did really <laughs> well, is but tough. he educated me as, you know, hey, this is why I'm doing this, this is why I'm doing that. So it was educational oh, for me, instead of just going out there to the same local place because we were hunting public land, uh -huh. so it was a lot more versatility than when I go with Clint and it's you know right. four or five different locations that we go to. Glade told me why he did this spread, what he was looking for, and the wind direction, all these things. So, Glade, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. what you taught me because now I'm a little bit better of a duck hunter. Still can't shoot the crap. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a bit, I've got some more knowledge. With it. That's actually, and Glade has actually always been that way. You all yes. remember Glade. He was on our, when you were gone, he was my guest host yes. when you were sick that one time. Yes. Um, Glade's always awesome. Always great to take us out. He he teaches me stuff every time he, we go somewhere. I, I mean, always learn something from Glenn. It's not just about duck hunting. I mean, the guy's a, he's an outdoor enthusiast. Yes, I'm fishing, hunting, yeah, he's, whatever he's, it is. It's just uh, it was it's good well, hanging yeah. out on the river on the bank and just shooting the crap and yeah. killing ducks. Absolutely, and watching that little no better that little dog of his his. He calls her his little one-eyed dog. He he posted some pictures on Instagram and I think yeah, on her yes. BPS page. And he yeah, has on the a, BPS page. He a little nice little phrase he says about his little girl because she was amazing. 
That's awesome. Great dog. Good. Good. Good job. Um, Brent Helm asks, will a mud buddy work on an older war eagle? It should. I can't I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Yeah. It should um, be unless a it's got some something strange. Send us an send an email in. Um, like some pictures would probably have. Yeah, send a photo or two. A photo or two. Yeah. We'll be able to make a definitive yeah. ruling on that. I, I don't see it being work. a problem at all. Yeah. Um, let's see. Richard, Richard wrote, wrote, wrote Widgeon, but I, I, you gotta, you gotta, this is the Widgeon, Widgeon. Widgeon, Widgeon, Widgeon. So you gotta say, like, Widgeon like pigeon, or Widgeon like region. Oh, so you know what So I know, going. because they're all, it's all spelled the, the same. But I do want to know. I am really curious. Uh, Will Nelson kill a new type of duck or goose I haven't killed? That's a really great one. Uh, Will, I got the uh, Lucky Duck cup right here for you. <laughs> That's a, that's a sweet little cup. That is a sweet I really, little cup. I really do love that. I love mine. I use mine all the time. Will, there is a link at the top of the post. Click on that, fill out that info, and we'll get that sent off to you. <laughs> Kim Gore, tomato, tomato. Same thing. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, what do you no, pronounce? How do you say we're, it? We're, really getting, we're getting flashed, like, and share. Yes. If you like it, well, if you like share it, share it. Share it. And if you still don't like it, just share it anyway. Uh-oh. Just hit the, yeah, uh, there we go. Decline. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else we got going on? Um, oh, we got Becky Miller coin. We are fishing in Missouri today. It's cold. That's, I Thanks for I, watching. I wish I were out Missouri fishing. Cold. That's, that's where I want to be right now is out fishing. Just follow, uh, following in from Iowa. What's up, guys? Have a good holiday. I had a great holiday. Yes, it Keith was had a crappy holiday. No, you amazing. had a great holiday. It was a good holiday. Yeah, you had a really good Thank you. Thank you for everybody. You are very popular right now. Lying to just keep in the decline. <laughs> no. Um, Zach Smith, get Keith on a layout hunt. That's exactly what he needs. It was uh, shooting out of a coffin. Was, uh, it was challenging. But, man, it was sure fun to watch those birds just fall. That's all I can say. They were falling out of the sky. Yeah. Well, see, that's nice. Um, Jeff Mullenix, um, sell more boat blinds on XL Boats and a couple new products for the field hunting. Absolutely, we love we love those blinds. Um, Happy New Year to all of you from Pop Up Blinds. Those those guys are great. They make a great yes. blind. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, oh, it's a big one. Talk amongst yourselves for a second while something. I read through this. Are you one. reading through something? I, I am. I gotta just read this one. This is a, a good one. I hope. Are you sure it's a good one? No, I'm never sure. But if you keep talking, I can't read and talk at the same time. <laughs> Oh, you're not, you're not, you can't multitask. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh. Oh? Oh, okay. So this is Zach, well, and he's the one that he's, he was with the tree business that I was like, oh, I want to hear more about that. He wrote me more about that. Um, but he and his, his buddies, they, they make a tree removal service. They do it, uh, they were doing it to raise money for duck season. Oh. Basically what they're doing, and they're going to take it full time is their hope, so... Well, good best luck. of luck. I think that is the best. That's that's a really great New Year's Anything resolution. Anything you can yeah, do good to hunt with more, that. shoot Absolutely. more, and buy more. If it lets you achieve your goals, man. Because um, I'm all about buying new stuff. Yeah, right. Got new waders, new jacket. Um, Jeff, I that's awesome. Thank you for those pictures. Jeff, you sent me some pictures. Okay, I love cool. pictures. Um, that's all you got on your... I think there's nothing but pictures on your computer. It is 90% picture. That's kind of like That's what, what, I, what we do. I, like, I gather them and I post them and I gather them and I post them. Just got my big blade repitched by a local prop shop. Looks brand new. Does BPS offer this service? That's from Chad Ream. Chad, I don't believe BPS does anything with um, reworking your props. Those props. There's, some, there's some good guys out there. Um, there's Bagley's um, I think it's Bagley's Boat Works. Uh -huh. They're in Louisiana. Then there's a couple other guys out there that do Absolutely. property work. But I don't think Glade and the boys are into that yet. I, I don't they know. They do, and I'm gonna ha I'm gonna ask BPS right now if you'll hop on and respond to that. If you do, yeah. um, Travis or Glade, um, you can correct us if you're wrong, and it never hurts to ask. Yes. Um, hey Nancy, happy New Year to you too. I haven't seen you for a long time, and we need to get together because you and your wife and I should just hang out. I'm pretty sure. Come up for dinner. It's not that far of a drive. I don't know if I get an invite. Jeez, it's only two hours away. It's not that far. It's only an hour. It's two hours if the traffic's really bad. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. We have six blue We got a couple more things to give away. 
We do. Um, Glade about the War Eagle question may need transom shim. Okay. Um, but that, but yes, like I said, we'll get that. Call Richard Rulo says call it pigeon like widgeon like pigeon. Okay. So I got right, one Richard, there. That's what we're going with Nicholas Sellers as well. Pigeon. <laughs> what does Glade can, say? I don't, that is a good question. Pigeon or we, <laughs> or whatever. Nancy is also mad at me because I've just declined her call. I, Nancy, now is not the time to be calling the phone. Yeah, honey, it's not a good time to call. <laughs> I'll call you back when we're off. Uh, Glade, no, we don't modify or rebuild props. Okay, good. I didn't think so, okay. but... Uh... Um, ben Hoppman, I have an 1854 with 4400 Black Death. Would a hard-sided duck blind be too much for my boat with three guys and a dog? It's not going to help your boat. I mean, it might it may conceal you and hide you, but it just depends on how much the weight is. You yeah. might have to lose one of your buddies or your dog. And If you've got a good dog, I'm losing a buddy before I give up my dog. <laughs> my own dog. Oh, I don't That's think anybody has that question. Saying, but... uh, yeah, you're going to be pushing it depending on the weight of that blind, Yeah, really. Yeah, it all comes down to weight. Really. It does. Their power to weight ratio is pretty simple. Yeah. Too much weight, not enough power, you're not going anywhere. You're just like a big plow out there. Uh-huh. I've seen a lot of those. I got I get I got Kim Gore, not pigeon. Thinking like more like region or region. Weegen. Weegen. Interesting. Clay Harris saying Weegen cotton top bald pate. Okay, thanks. Okay, but is it <laughs> Weegen like pigeon glade or Weegen like region? <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah. Nobody gives a crap. That's funny. I'm, I'm, I, because I hear it all the time. Because I watch a lot of YouTube videos, right? I'm constantly just watching stuff and consuming info. Um, and a lot of people just say it different ways. So That's I'm, true. I'm just, I'm just interested. Tomato, 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 potato, tomato, tomato. Really, <laughs> Eric as well. Pigeon. It's all. It's pigeon. It's pigeon. All right. Widgeon like pigeon. I'm going with that. That's what I'm going to say. So I sound like a pro. <laughs> Um, Casey Brady, what are the symptoms of a trim going out on older 6000 HD? Depends on what kind of trim you have. If you have a Thompson, it's a ratcheting sound. Okay. Yeah, so it's not a good sound if it's ratcheting. Um, the Mercury's don't give you a whole lot of sound. They kind of work or they don't work. Uh-huh. But the old Thompsons and the Bears, they'll make a ratcheting, clunking, grinding. You know when those are going bad. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then call Travis over at Backwater. And, and Corbin. Corbin. Oh, we always forget about Corbin. I know. Corbin. Corbin, Corbin too. Corbin's you can talk to anybody over there. They're all great. Um, okay. Uh, from Adrian Montoya. 37. Yo, Adrian? Huh? Yo, Adrian? Yo, Adrian! <laughs> 37 EFI HDR that's spinning at 800 to 1200 RPMs higher than normal. And motor started bogging down, then just cut off. Uh, I'm trying to for the week, trying to figure out what's wrong. After finally get back home, I got it started, but idling at 1300 versus my normal 800 to 900. Help! I'm tired of. Yeah, he's he's got it. Call. I don't know, Ricky. Call 801 352 8101. See, I messed it up this time eight, because eight, I didn't zero, do that. One, one. It's 8011. Ask for Enrique, and he can help you. Lower the idle on that EFI. He knows how to do that, and he's on the phone now. Right now. So one of the girls, when she answers, just say, hey, I need to speak to Enrique about this little issue, and he'll yes. be able to help you out. Got it. Perfect. Um, Casey Brady's worried about his going out. If it goes out, is that something we'll replace? Like, uh, or can replace? Yeah, is Backwater that, Performance can help him yeah, out. BPS is probably um, your yeah, best you place can to... Email Glade at Glade at Backwater Performance Glade Systems at Backwater or Travis Systems. at Backwater or Corbin. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll probably want to see a photo of what you have so they can give you an idea of what the cost is because there's cost differences between the Thompson, the Bear, the Mercury, right. the Limp. You get some of those older ones, it's... Uh, there's a bunch of them out there, and the, a photo is worth a thousand words when you're on the phone. Yes, absolutely. So. Um, Richard Eustler, will it change to a lower gear cost me much top speed? Uh, I carry too much weight for current gears. Uh, not, a, not a ton, a mile an hour, maybe two, yeah. but you'll make up for it by getting up on step faster yes. and getting the boat rolling. So it's not going to be a big hit, but you will lose a little bit. Um, Casey Brady, more about the trim. 
Uh, when getting on plane, my motor digs down even though I'm trimming up. Sound like trim motor? That's... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know because it really depends on like what you're in. Because some, I don't know. Yeah. That again, BPS really might be a really great resource for you on 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 that. And he's got the six thousand. I think that's the. Yeah, 6, so he's probably, he's got either a bear or a Thompson, and it could be the trim issue. Um, give the guys a call. You can also upgrade to the new conversion kit system, Absolutely. which puts a mercury on there. Yep. Which uh, is the way to go, but it's also a little bit more expensive, but. Or just the boys over backwater. Whole new motor case. Or a new time. 50. Like yeah, a new uh, 50. Salty Assassin. Yes. Dave must be really confident in our boat. He, he is. He liked how fast. Yes. He liked how fast he liked last time we went out and we right just out and smoked right down by him. That was awesome. Um, Jeff Mullenix, you mentioned power to weight ratio. What is ideal? What's the ideal weight to power ratio? That is a keep really the, good question. Keep the boat... And the weight of what your little placard says. Some of them will say two people, three people, or so many pounds. Keep it with that. If you start, I mean, the more weight you put in, the heavier it gets. And you've got to figure, you've got a battery at 30 to 40 pounds. You've got five gallons of fuel or more. You've got your bag, your dog, your friends. So it really, yeah. it really makes a big difference. A lot of people say, well, it's only, absolutely. there's only four of us. Well, your little placard says you can only have 700 pounds. Well, the guys I hunt with, we're all 200 plus. <laughs> I'm emphasizing on the plus. You Three guys and your gear is way too much weight. Yeah. So, yeah. it's Stay with within your boat placard says. Even though nobody will do it, that's where you should be. You want to yes. stay with what your boat's rated for. Yes, absolutely. And that was a good question. Let's throw him. Yes, what? that what is. Um, I, that's what? that's Jeff from Mullenix. Jeff Mullenix. Let's do uh, the trash talker. The trash talker. Because Echo calls. We like Rick Dunn. Fa fantastic. And his boys. All right, uh, great Jeff, call. Go to the top. Uh, click the uh, click the link at the top. Fill out your info. We'll get that sent out to you. I also want to send something to uh, Rich Eustler. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Uh, Rich, he was the one about changing the gears. Changing the gears? Yes, I'm going to do for you. I've got a Tango. gunsling. This is the Tangle Free Gunsling here Optifade for you. Marsh. That's in Optifade Marsh. That's a really sweet hey. little gunsling for you. Uh, hit, click that link, fill out that info, we'll get that sent off. Tango, Tango Free and the guys make some great products. If you've never been on their website, go check out their website. Oh, They've yeah. got some good sales going on daily. They did a 12 Days of Christmas. I was watching that and getting emails. Sign up for their emails. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all of our sponsors, go check out their web pages. Without them, we're not giving away their free stuff, and we appreciate no. them giving away their product to help us so we can help them. So, yes, Echo Calls, Tangle Free, Excel Boats, Lucky Duck, BPS, and Camel Systems have been amazing to work with, and we look forward to working with them more and bringing more new stuff down the road. Yes. And like and share. And like and share. Like and share. <laughs> and also, uh, send us your um, like requests. If, if you've got an idea for something you'd like to see us talk about or do, if you want to see Keith eat some duck, bite a duck's head off, I don't know, that whatever is, it may be. That is you know, not, send us your suggestions. That We'd is, love to hear them. You know, that we is want, not happening. We, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Come on. Come hey. on, Keith. Where's your adventure spirit? <laughs> it's not in it. <laughs> Not by sticking a duck's head in my mouth and crunch. I watched somebody do that last year. He works here. And I thought to myself, yeah, no. That is just nasty. That I know there's guys out there who intense. do it. And I think there's that, the limit of crunch. There's okay. And then if there's too much, it might be more than you wanted to bite off. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not. I have the uh, finisher, adrenaline finisher. Works good. Um, and there's also, you know, give it a good old swingaroo. So there, there's a, there's other ways besides yes. sticking a duct tape in your mouth and <laughs> crunching on it. You know, that's, I like crispy things, it's but it's usually like a taco, not a duck's head. Ben Hoffman says you guys should try snow goose hunting sometimes. It's a lot snow of fun. Snow goose hunting. I've never oh, done snow goose I would hunting. like to try that. Yes. I think that'd be really I haven't shot a goose this year. Big kind of slim pickings here in Utah for, for geese and goose. <sighs> You know, I was watching somebody. Somebody on Facebook was was going for the. Uh, well, now I can't think of the name. The uh, like the North American Grand Slam. The oh. the one of every all of the forty nine. Breeds, not breeds. 
Species? Species. That's the word I'm looking for. All 49 species of ducks. And they were pretty close, I think. I, we have a good friend, Glade, who's... I think he said he needs like four or five more, and he's... Our bam, Glade? bam, done. Our Glade. You're that close? Yes, he's close. Oh, the, I man. told you. The guy We should start a GoFundMe or something. Yeah. So you can get that done. That's awesome. He is a hunting machine. Woo. Yeah. And he does gators, too. Yeah, he I put sure out a good does. video on gators, too. Gators. Man, if you haven't seen that gator video, you got to watch that video. And he's out there with our friend Sid from Fast Duck Motors in Florida. Sid's took him. Is that on that yep, video? Yep, is that that's, Sid? that's, that's actual Sid? Sid? That's that is actual Sid. Our Sid. That's our Sid. Six foot six. I didn't know that was yep, Sid. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't know that was you. Well, he doesn't come to the shop anymore when he comes off the so floor. rude. He just bypasses us. But that's all right. Um, awesome. I think we are going to end it We right got one more. We got there. one more. Our friends at Tangle Free have a great dome uh, cover. It'll cover your bald head. It sure will. Keep you from the chill factor, not the burn <laughs> factor right now. Um, Kim Gore has been talking a lot with us today. Kim, this one is for you. This Tangle Free. Uh, this is... I would say it's this more of like, timber. More of a timber. This a little is the, darker. the uh, Tangle Free timber uh, Optifade right there. That is for you. Click the uh, link at the top of the of the post and uh, we'll get that sent off to you. And remember, check out our sponsors. Go to their web pages, check out their stuff. I saw a bag that Glade had from Tangle Free. It's yeah. one of my really awesome. Is Nancy still watching? Uh. <laughs> it might be one of my next purchases. <laughs> Because <laughs> it was a uh, nice uh, bag. <laughs> it held a fantastic. lot of ammo, and I need to hold a lot of ammo when I go shooting. You sure, if you don't believe you me, sure do. you can ask you Glade. Can watch the videos upcoming. <laughs> yes. No, that's really awesome. I think we're going to end it there, okay. everybody. Thank you so much for being with us. We're going to be here next week. Uh, that's next Wednesday at 3 o'clock, Mountain Time. Um, hopefully, we've got a really... We gotta come up with something. Like we've got a big, we've got a couple of things in the balance, uh, the weather permitting. Weather. I don't so. think it's gonna be in the salty unless we're just hanging out at the ramp. You know, no. There's more than likely not out on the salty, but um, but do uh, but something will be awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna have something really fun. But um, again, everybody, happy new year! Welcome to 2019. We've got lots of really fun stuff planned. So stay with us. Uh, again, big. Shout out to our sponsors, Lucky Duck, XL Boats, Echo Calls, Tangle Free, BPS, Camo Systems, Camo Systems, uh, Camp Chef 2, big yes. shout out to them. Oh, they made it. Yeah, so they're really great. So everybody, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you right back here next week.